A look at what stories have been making the headlines this Saturday now with the ITV News. Good afternoon, I'm Suzanne Verdi. A Metropolitan Police officer has been remanded in custody after appearing in court, charged with the kidnap and murder of Sarah Everard. Wayne Cousins, who's 48 and from Kent, was arrested on Tuesday following Miss Everard's disappearance in Clapham, South London. Her body was later found in Woodland in Kent. Meanwhile, a vigil to remember Sarah tonight has been cancelled. Organisers say police failed to constructively engage with them, but the police say it simply couldn't be made COVID safe. With the latest, here's Lewis Warner. Arriving at Westminster Magistrates Court this morning, the serving police officer charged with the kidnap and murder of Sarah Everard. 48-year-old Wayne Cousins spoke only to confirm his name and address before being remanded in custody. Last night, police confirmed the charges put to Cousins and expressed sympathy towards Sarah's family. I would like at this stage to pay tribute to Sarah's family for their fortitude and forbearance through what can only have been the most intensely difficult few days. Our thoughts remain with them as this matter progresses. The 33-year-old marketing executive vanished from the streets of South London 10 days ago. Police then began a painstaking search at the time, saying they hoped she was still alive. But within days, that hope appeared to be wearing thin as officers began searching an area of woodland in Ashford in Kent. They later discovered a body and through dental records confirmed that it was Sarah. Some 30 miles away, Cousins was arrested at his home in Deal. Since then, he's been treated in hospital twice, on both occasions for a head injury sustained while alone in his police cell. Sarah's death has sparked a renewed discussion about women's safety. One group had hoped to hold a vigil in Clapham, near to where she was last seen. But this morning, that was called off after police refused to give permission because of lockdown restrictions. We just needed a, pl a place to gather together. And that's where the idea came from, of meeting um, in Clapham Common, have a moment of silence surrounded around Sarah, but also to remember all the women that get um, killed or abused or harassed. And, you know, we, um, we just needed that. In response, the Metropolitan Police said, we take no joy in this event being cancelled, but it is the right thing to do given the real and present threat of COVID-19. Officers have worked hard to explain the regulations and why gatherings such as this cannot go ahead at this time. Instead, organisers say they plan to remember Sarah in a virtual event. Lewis Warner, ITV News. Well, our reporter Frankie McCamley is at Westminster Magistrates Court where she witnessed the hearing. So, Frankie, what more can you tell us? Well, the hearing here only lasted around 15 minutes. Wayne Cousins sat behind a glass screen, flanked by two fellow plainclothes police officers, mainly slumped over with his head in his hands. He was wearing a grey tracksuit top and appeared to have a small red mark on his forehead following two trips to the hospital in the last 48 hours after officers found him in his cell with head injuries. The charges were read out in court that the police officer faces the murder and kidnap of 33-year-old Sarah Everard. As expected, no plea was entered at this time. Mr Cousins only spoke to confirm his age, address and date of birth. Now, this is the first time we've heard from the police officer since his arrest. He spoke so quietly, the magistrate had to ask him to speak up just so the court could hear him. Well, the 48-year-old was remanded in custody today. He's going to appear at the Old Bailey next week. Frankie McCamley, thank you. As Wales loosens some of its lockdown restrictions today, there are reports circulating that the UK's vaccination programme is ahead of schedule. Well, our political correspondent Hannah Miller is here. So uh, what are these claims and should we believe them? Sounds too good to be true. <laughs> well, everyone wants to know when they'll get their first dose of the vaccine, don't they, Suzanne? And there are two front pages today that will have given a lot of people hope. The Telegraph is reporting that all over 40s could be offered their first jab within the next three weeks. Meanwhile, the 
Times has done its own modelling, which suggests the entire adult population will have had a dose by early June. That's around six weeks ahead of schedule. These claims are based on the amount of vaccine supply that is coming our way. They could perhaps be characterised as optimistic. The government, though, is describing them as completely incorrect. They say they're sticking to their original timetable, which is a first dose to all over 50s in the next month or so, and all adults by the end of July. OK, and what about Wales then? Because restrictions have been eased there today, haven't they? Yes, the unlocking has begun in Wales. People being allowed to meet in small groups outdoors, tennis courts and golf courses reopening from today. The stay-at-home restriction has been replaced with stay local. People in England have to wait just over two weeks now for that guidance to change. The claims that we've heard about how well the vaccine programme is going will be used by some backbench MPs to push the idea that restrictions in England should be lifted more quickly. There's no sign, though, that that's going to happen. OK, Hannah, thanks very much. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's charitable foundation has announced it will be supporting an online racial justice movement and the mental health charity Mind. It follows their TV interview with Oprah Winfrey, in which Meghan spoke of her mental health struggles. She and Harry also said they'd been asked about their son Archie's likely skin tone before he was born. Police have charged a 43-year-old man in connection with alleged racial abuse directed at former Kilmarnock manager Alex Dyer. The message was posted on social media a day after Dyer parted company with the Scottish Premiership side. And Nottinghamshire Police has employed a specialist officer to investigate dog thefts. The new role has been created following concern about the growing number of cases of dog theft across the country. England face France at Twickenham in today's Six Nations Rugby, hoping to improve their lacklustre performance in the competition so far. But first, Triple Crown champions Wales are in Italy, looking to extend their winning streak and edge closer to another Grand Slam. But their captain says they're not taking bottom place Italy for granted. Historically, Italy get better throughout the competition. Um, you know, we've seen how dangerous they can be in their 9 10 axis. Um, you know, their, their forwards that are, have um, been creating set piece and uh, troubled some teams, um, and it's very easy to uh, slip. The cliched word that's used, obviously, at the start of this campaign is, is, is momentum. You know, everybody's, you know, searching for perfection. It's not something you always find. Finally, a toddler who lost a Buzz Lightyear toy on a flight in America has been reunited with it and learned that his Buzz has been on a mission to infinity and beyond. To Commander Hagen, I'm very excited to return to you upon completing my mission. His parents say two-year-old Hagen was devastated when he lost the toy, but his name was written on the boot just like in the film. And a clever airline employee not only found him on the passenger list, but also photographed Buzz exploring the airport before posting him home. Much, of course, to Hagen's delight. And that is it for now. The news where you are is next, followed by the rugby. Enjoy both Wales and England in action this afternoon here on ITV. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye. Not everywhere will be cold today. Some places will be warm and toasty. Heinz Beans sponsors ITV National Weather. Hello there. Very good afternoon to you. I hope you're having a lovely weekend so far. It has been, as expected, a very wet and windy picture in the last 12 or so hours. Gusts of 99 miles an hour recorded at the Needles at the Isle of Wight. And we're continuing to see blustery showers across the UK through today. Similar story as we look ahead to a snapshot for mid-afternoon, a mixture of sunny spells and blustery showers. The possibility of hail and thunder in there as well and turning wintry across the tops of the hills and mountains. From a temperature point of view, not particularly 
particularly impressive, feeling rather chilly in that sustained wind. As we have a look ahead to this evening and overnight, we'll see showers for a time, but then gradually as the night wears on, it becomes a largely dry picture across the UK, just a few showers across more northwestern parts, and it's chilly away from the towns and cities. Mothering Sunday is tomorrow. You still have time to buy a card. A decent start across England and Wales, the risk of blustery showers again, and patchy rain sinking southeastwards throughout the day. Have a lovely afternoon. Heinz Beans sponsors ITV National Weather.